here on grapevines, trees, lawn furniture, and just scattered across your yard. Lanternflies, they're an invasive species, and we're expecting to see them again in just a few weeks. Look at like the trunk everywhere where it's fuzzy. Tina White has been searching grapevines in her Cumberland County fields for spotted lanternfly eggs as the pests started feeding on her crops last year. There's probably 400 grapevines if every other one had two egg masses. Each egg mass carries anywhere from 30 to 50 eggs. So just by destroying these eggs, Tina prevented about 20,000 spotted lanternflies from feeding on her crops. We're terribly worried about it. You have to smush them and smear them to make sure that they're dead. Everyone should be searching their yards for these egg masses now before the flies hatch in early May. Check everything outside for those egg masses. There are still ways to mitigate the spread even after they hatch. New sprays are on the market, which Tina says have worked for her. The trunk of that tree was covered solid. There wasn't any bark to be seen. We could spray it and they would just all drop dead. You can also create a circle trap, which is similar to sticky flypaper wrapped around a tree. We, we're going to use all the, the traps, the tools, the, the tapes, whatever we can do to, to use it. Jocelyn Howard, WGAL News 8. And the State Department of Agriculture recommends you wrap wire around that sticky trap, uh, circle trap that you saw there to prevent butterflies or small birds from getting caught in them. It also says, just like with any chemical, make sure to read the warning labels before you spray spotter lanternfly pesticides. Next